So if you are new to ClickUp, ClickUp is a project management tool, but how the heck do you even manage your projects? So in this video, I want to go through our project management template to show you how you can actually map out, organize, and track the progress of a whole project within your company. There are obviously multiple different ways that you can do this. And actually the three main ways, let's just give a little refresher that you can use ClickUp are for task management, project management, and data reporting. So today we're gonna go through that project management piece in terms of a project that is linear, it has a start and an end date, you're working on it for a certain amount of time. Instead of something that's more like content creation, which is like an ongoing project and more of like a pipeline style. So I can go through and show the differences between the two, but we're really gonna dive into the project management template today. And if you are new around here, hey there, my name is Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Light. We are a systems and consulting agency that help people set up their systems, one of those being ClickUp. I'm a verified ClickUp consultant, so I not only love to help our clients and our students set up their ClickUp, but also be able to teach and educate on YouTube and help you guys manage and organize and really learn ClickUp to its core. So with that, let's dive in. So this is where you are going to see the master list to manage this project. Let's talk about the features and how this is laid out. So as you can see, this is not grouped by status. This is actually grouped by the custom field project phase. If you want to see those phases on the outside, you can always click add column, show slash hide, and then search project phase. And now you're going to see this. Here, you can also absolutely go ahead. We recommend editing it to your process. So in here, you could click add slash edit options. You could change colors. You can change the names, add phases, remove phase specific about custom fields is say you create this for a specific project type. And now you want to create a new template for a different project type in your company where the phases might be a little bit different. Do not go ahead and edit this in the new list because as you can see, this is used across two locations. Wherever you edit this in one list, it will edit in the other. So if you do want to create a new version for a new project, you're, wanna, you're going to wanna go ahead and duplicate this, edit it, regroup it, and then delete the old one. I know that's kind of a lot of information, but just wanted to say that in case you are new to custom field usage. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hide this. So we have this grouped by phase. You're gonna see on the outside, you have assignee, start date, due date, comments. The statuses are to do, in progress, review, needs edits, approved, complete. You can absolutely edit these and you can go into statuses and then edit these to change colors, names, whatever you wanna do. Priorities, this is the native priority field within ClickUp. Time estimates, this takes project management to the next level and I'll show you how it really affects it in workload view. And then time tracked as well, if you wanna track time. So all of these fields on the outside are also natively available inside the task. So if I click in here, you'll see the start and due date here. You'll see the time estimate, priority, um, time tracked, statuses, all that good stuff. Okay, so in here you'll see also we have subtasks. Um, you can also see this task here is actually a milestone. That is a specific task type where if you click into the task and you see here milestone, ClickUp will have this in yours. They'll have task and milestone. You'll also see other task types that we have here for different things within ClickUp, but this is just a really great visual marker to see inside a project what are those milestones, those big pieces of the project that are moving things forward. You can also see that in here we use team meeting, task, meet, uh, task type meeting as well. So as you can see from this list to you, this is amazing to be able to see the whole entire project at a glance. Who's working on what, what are the due dates, statuses, etc. So you'll see like say I had to do the project kickoff, then Jeff and I were on the um, 
kickoff and then, you know, break down actionable steps is for our project manager. Um, so you'll want to have every single task assigned so they're not slipping through the cracks. So that is list view. Um, the other great thing about this as well is you can actually template this. Once you create this, say you have a specific project type, you can save it as a template. And then if you want to, you know, have the same structure for a future project, you can upload the template and remap the due dates. And then the whole entire project timeline is going to be there. So really great if you are mapping this out and uh, you can reuse it time and time again for new projects that come in the pipeline. Okay, so you'll also see on the outside of here, dependencies. So dependencies, if you go ahead and right click, you can click on dependencies. You can have tasks that are waiting on this task. This task could be blocking other tasks, and then you can just have related tasks as well. If you click into the task itself, you'll also see on the right side the dependencies here too. So basically what that means is, say I tried to complete this kickoff call with team, it's gonna give me a warning and be like, hold on, the project prep checklist, which this task is waiting on, is not done yet. So dependencies are really, really awesome for team communication. The other really great thing is if one thing moves in the project, so say this moved to August 13th, then all of the other tasks are going to move as well. So see, it remapped all of the following tasks and due dates. So that is the dependencies that's going through the list view. Now let's go ahead and go through the Gantt view. So Gantt view is really awesome if you are utilizing those dependencies, because just like I showed you by adjusting that due date and how it moved everything forward, you could also see if you have in here Gantt settings, reschedule dependencies on, then if you're moving one thing forward, it's gonna move the rest of the project forward. So you can also map dependencies in here. So this is my favorite way to map dependencies rather than right clicking on the task and adding them all like that. I like just going ahead and once something has a due date, it will show up in Gantt view. Then you can literally just drag the task together and then it'll say, okay, this task is waiting on this task, this task is blocking this task, etc." So that is Gantt view, seeing all of the tasks connected and being able to move them forward. A note about Gantt view as well, as you saw in the settings here, if you turn on hide and skip weekends, then when you remap the tasks in Gantt view, it will skip weekends. That will not happen if you remap it in list view. So that's something to be aware of. Then we have a calendar view to be able to see what is happening in the project and who is doing what. So here you can see this. I also on this project level definitely like being able to see assignees as well. So let's see fields. I like to turn on assignees, priorities, sometimes tags. That way you can see that whole project at a glance and get some pertinent information. Okay. We are getting through this list. The next thing is project docs. So this we definitely recommend if you have any project documentation that's related to this project, add it as a doc view. So that way you can have it all in one place. So we have some sample examples here for things that you can use for projects, but you can absolutely make this your own, like timeline, scope of work, um, project closure doc, meeting docs, so also tracking any meeting docs, what's the objective of the meeting, who are the attendees, action items, agenda notes, etc. And so this way, you know, anytime you're looking for notes or things related to this project, they'll be right there in the project docs. And then lastly, let's talk about workload view. So if you are utilizing time estimates, this is going to be the best, most accurate way to track workload. So if you come into workload view, you're going to see that this workload is tracked by time estimates. You could also do tasks or sprint points or custom fields. But if we go ahead to August, 
where this template starts, you're then going to see how much time is allocated to each person on the project. You can also set their capacity as well. So say someone works 20 hours a week, you can set that and see where their capacity is at. So on this week, I only have 45 minutes of my 24 hours of capacity for the week. Now note, this is just at this project level. So if you do wanna see your workload at the whole entire workspace level, you can add a workload view to the everything level. Let me click this open right here to see the actual capacity of every team member across all projects. But this is great on the project level too, just to see you know who who is responsible for what on this project and what their capacity is for each week. So if this goes over, let me go ahead and mark this as eight hours just for the sake of this example. Then you're going to see that this made Jeff at capacity orange and it threw me over because I already had something on my list for two hours. So this is just a really great visual way to see your capacity for the project across different team members. Okay, and lastly, one more thing for real. Um, I want to talk about automations. So uh, this is really great to see and manage projects. It's getting a little bit more intermediate in terms of ClickUp use, but you can also take it a step further with automation. So say for example, any time the status went to review, you wanted to reassign that task to the project manager with a due date of a day later. So then you can say, okay, anytime the status changes, we want to reassign Andrea and we're going to set the due date as one day after the trigger date. That way, ClickUp is also managing the project management for you. So I'm going to go ahead, always best practice to name these as well. When status <clears throat> changes to review, reassign PM with due date of one day later. So that's just one quick example. You can do that with all different things. If status changes, um, you know, if you, different things, priority changes, due date, assignee, a ton of different options you could do there. Okay, so that is the walkthrough of the internal project management template. So I hope that video was helpful for you in learning how you can manage your projects in a simple and clear way within ClickUp, while also diving into a little bit more robust and advanced features like dependencies. No matter where you are in your business, project management is gonna be crucial. You're always gonna be working on different initiatives. So having a way to clearly track that is going to be key. Great news is this template is actually free in the ClickUp Community Template Center. We uploaded this to the Template Center to share with the community. So if you want to go ahead and snag that free template, I'll link it in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We are so grateful for all of your support. With that, thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time.